Let's get into the Q&A and, uh, of course, the giveaway. I think that's the most important thing, right? So let's see here. Okay. First of all, I would like to thank Shield Folio. They're actually going to be giving away one of these beauties. I've got like, I think like three or four of these. No, I have like, no, I've got like three, I think now, of these books. No, I got four. Yeah, I got four. So these ones, they're important to have because if you ever lose your mnemonic phrases like I've done before, um, it's a big pain in the A because you can't get your crypto back no matter how hard you try. Right now, they're $34. There are, but then there's a link in the description, get 20% off. So like with this, they are water resistant, tear resistant, smudge resistant, and they just keep everything in a nice organized fashion. That's the whole thing. So they're going to be giving away that. Also, we're giving away $250 in Ethereum thanks to Ladies NFT, which work together with These Nuts NFT. And they're uh, launching up their play to earn game momentarily. Also, they're going to be minting on the weekend. So I put out this tweet. I said, hey, you want to win 250 bucks? Just do this. Uh, retweet this, follow this, do this, comment, blah, blah. You know the deal. So let's do this live. I'm going to take this here. Go to Twitter Picker. Load the tweet. All right. So let's see. You must follow at Jack. No. News asset at... Ladies NFT. Oh, I spelled it right for once. And the profile must have a picture description, count age at least one month. I don't want to give it to bots. And uh, there you go. So let's see. Continue. Here's all the people. Congratulations, people. Continue. Begin the drawing. Oh, wow. NFT General. Good for you. NFT General, congratulations on winning. <laughs> I will follow you so you can now message me directly. We'll get your ERC-20 uh, wallet address and send over the money. And uh, also, we'll need your address to send you the book. But that is it uh, for today, my friends. So look, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing. A lot of things we talk about are time-sensitive, which you've uh, just seen right now. But that's all for this. Now we'll get into the Q&A part. I'll answer all your questions the best of my abilities. And we'll go from there. It's the best part of the show. So let's see. The first question that I... Well, there was actually two questions, same person. Road trip buddies. First question, if crypto becomes securities, why are we effed? Do the coins just go away? So no, we don't go away. What's going to be a real hassle is for the crypto project itself because they're going to have to, they probably are going to pay a fine because it was they were selling unregistered securities in their ICOs if they did that, which almost everybody, one of them did. And also for the exchanges because they're selling unregistered securities. They're going to have to, well, they're going to have to register. They're going to have to pay fees. They're going to have to pay for lawyers. It's going to be expensive for the exchanges. But guess what? They're going to do it because this is almost a trillion-dollar market cap uh, industry. And they'd like to keep this gravy train rolling. So then there's that. The Like I've always said, the projects will, some will pay a fine, some won't, depending on who knows who. And then uh, the smaller ones, which really aren't needed, will fade away. And uh, those developers are going to look for a job and they're going to find the other big ones. And uh, it'll just be a big absorption and we'll do a consolidation and that's pretty much it. The only thing that my question always has been is this, is um, I buy securities every week on Robinhood. And I've never used my you know, Amazon stock to pay for a gas fee on any of my Amazon wallets because they don't exist, first of all. So I don't understand how they're going to say this like Ethereum's of security when it has real utility. I just don't see how that works. And yeah, we'll see. And then uh, Road Trip Buddy says, Rob, have you noticed a drop in views? Yes. Uh, I hear that's a sign of a bottom. Yes, they say it is. But um, yeah, I've talked to some other creators and they say the same exact thing. And it's not a big deal. I mean, it's nice to have views. But I'd really talk to the people that get it instead of me having to like, you know, fight with everybody during the bull runs, which is what's going to happen later on. So right now, like usually like on these streams, we usually used to get like a thousand, two thousand people and yeah, we'll get around 600, 800. That's just how it is. And I see things going down again because people get bored. It's not about 
the percentage lost or the percentage reduction in the amount of uh, return on investment. What it is, is the amount of time that it takes to get from one to the other. How long can you be bored? You know, there is some excitement. Correct me if I'm wrong. There is some excitement to look at your investment and go, wow, I'm down X percent. I'm going to keep holding strong. It's exciting sometimes. But what's not exciting is to see things go sideways and go up 0.1% or 1.3% one day and then go down 0.4% and then back and forth and back and forth. That's boring. That's what. That's why people don't care. They're just like, well, I'm out of here. I don't blame you. It's boring as hell. So I just find some things fascinating. So I talk to everybody. And that's it. <laughs> why not? Vicky says, one of, the, one of the live stream goes out, we think that you're in deep thought. Let me freeze. Hey, I don't know how many times we froze there. I think I did pretty good. Uh, Jelson says, CZ's audit is not made by an audit firm. He's probably going to trash next week in Congress, hearing about O'Leary. Some people just enjoy watching the world on fire. Yeah, I mean, people like do that. That's for truth. Sometimes even I am. I myself like that myself. I myself like that myself. Well, myself. Gary Gunza, man, with regulators. Road trip, I have to disagree on this one. This will be the final blow, and then we rise. I think there's more blows along the way. I think there's more contagion along the way. And if if uh, Binance falls, watch out. That's the big bad. But again, if it happens, it happens. I can't I can't change that. Let's see. What other questions do we have? Binance is great point, Bicky. I'm also going to crack it. I go to crack it. It's great. <laughs> Rob, is it true you're taking a service job at TGI Fridays for additional income? I would like to work. I would like to work at Olive Garden. That way I could shill them my tomato coin. And maybe I could get them on the POS, the proof of sauce. That'd be great. No, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I'm kind of semi-retired. And, and for you who are retired, you know what I'm going to say is the truth next. Being retired sucks. So you have to find something to give you a little bit of motivation. And that's what it is. And there's only so many times, like, like yesterday, uh, we have some friends in town went to, the, went to uh, some secluded beach. And yeah, oh, poor Rob. But it gets, it's, it's good, it's fun, it's awesome. But unless you, if you do that every single day, it gets pretty boring. Trust me, I lived in Vegas for two years. The strip is awesome only so many times. That's just how it goes. Um, yep. Crypto is like poker. Hours are boring with minutes of complete error. I'm also thinking on Kraken. Kraken has an okay rep, but I don't trust any of them. I don't trust any of them either. That's why, that's why we have uh, our cold storage devices. Hey, Rob, what's with the earlier streams because of the channel time zones? Yeah, because Texas and El Paso, you're on mountain time. So right now, right here, here in Puerto Rico, it's 145 roughly. So you are, you go from Atlantic time to Eastern time. It's another hour from Eastern to uh, Central. And then from Central to Mountain, you're looking at three, what is that? One, two, yeah, three hours prior. So one... 12, 11, 10. Yeah, 10, 45. So yeah, that's why. Because if I did these streams, it'd be like 4 o'clock at night. Yeah, it's, it was a rough night last night. <laughs> it was fun, though. Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Rob, can you touch on having people that they have to reset their expectations with price? Flushing of leverage scams and paper assets mean everything was overvalued last cycle. Yeah, see, the thing is, like, there was a lot of, there was leverage and it was by FTX. And there was some, there was some, some cryptos, some products that were heavily, heavily overvalued. And people got, they kind of fell into that, that disbelief. I personally think that a lot of things could have done better if, I mean, better over the long haul, if SBF wasn't involved and hadn't done the things that he did. But again, it's it's all it's all debatable now. As far as like to reset their expectation with price, yes, you have to. Right now, actually, I don't have to tell you. I mean, the market's going to do it for you. The market doesn't care what I say, but just know that I think, like, we believe in the four-year cycles. I mean, I believe in the four-year cycles, 
But does that mean that it's definitely going to play out? Because we've never gone through this as far as a recession, which is going to come whew, next year, I think. And that means that uh, there's probably some more pain along the way. I know some people will say, well, no, it'll be okay. I don't think so. But all it means to me is that bull markets don't last forever. It was actually pretty short this time and neither did bear markets. So just reset. And it's pretty great when you can reset. Like I remember in 2018, I thought I was going to be, you know, multi, multi-millionaire. So all the different things that I got into in 2017 and didn't work like that. And then I just kind of reset myself. And I remember when, I remember when chain link went up on one, one weird day, I'm like, wow, I'm actually up to this. this is great. This is fantastic. And I thought, well, you know, if, if uh, Chainlink can go to five bucks, I'd be pretty happy. Went to like 35 or something like that. So yeah. Yeah, everybody's uh, expectations will be reset. We'll get more realists in here. The moon boys will be gone. And then of course, the next bull run, they'll come back. That's okay. Buffalo Wild Wings, that sounds good. Probably needs to clean that beach. I don't clean that beach. <laughs> Rob, shouldn't it be bits instead of sats? It just makes more sense. Let me get a bit of Bitcoin. I think it'll be confusing. And I didn't, that's from the guy that created That's from Satoshi. I can't change those things. What were those rules to live by? Yes. 1.45 a.m.? No, it's 1.45 p.m. And if it was a.m., it'd be a little darker. Ah, uh, Cool Network says, did you notice they removed Coinbase Pro? That was going out for a while. So now it's just Coinbase Advance or something like that, and it's all in the same thing. I don't use it because I just, um, I know they say that, that this is what people will tell me all the time. You got to use Coinbase Pro and you got to use this thing because it's it, the, the rates are cheaper and, you, and they're, they're crushing you in rates. And I don't care, man. I, I just, I don't. For some people who want to go there and get into it and do it, that's fine. But like I just set a lot of things, dollar cost average. I set it. It comes through when it's cleared. I send it to my ledger and I'm good. I got a lot of other stuff to do. So yeah, I don't care. For... And even like people, like the same people told me that FTX was, had some really good rates. Like, oh, but you should use FTX. And I'm like, well, their rates were zero point whatever percent. But if you look at it, it's actually hundred percent because they stole everybody's money. Yeah. Swan is so good for user interface. I got to check that out. Aristotle, you, you shaved your beard like 50 years younger. Yeah, that happens. Uh, that's right, 100% free website. Vicky. Let's see. USDC is legit. One thing I do like about USDC is um, the CEO, Lair, went before Congress and said, look, if you want proof of reserves, they're all right there. Here's all the documents. Go take a look. And uh, everything was back one-to-one -one with the dollar or different assets. Just saying. Tether, I don't know. I never really trusted it, but I mean, I was always proven wrong because it never really de-pegged except for that one small time from 93, 93 cents. But I don't know. I just, I don't have a lot in Tether. I think I have like, honestly, like $200 in Tether somewhere on some wallet just because I needed to get some kind of degenerate crypto a long time ago. But that's all. Oh, Croatia won. Great. <laughs> If there is going to pump after the purge, could be. Yeah. Next bill run on buying low income housing. So I have a place to go for the next bear. I never understood the, the diamond hands. Actually, no, let me rephrase that. I understand the diamond hands when you go through like the bear market, but there's, but there, there comes a time when, when those diamond hands have to melt and you got to sell. Like if I didn't sell some of my crypto, I wouldn't be able to afford the real estate that I have now. So I'm going to get a bottle. I'm going to get a Sorry, a little glitch. Uh, I'm going I'm to get one, a bottle that's going to say um, Tears of Diamond Hands Holders. And I'm just going to put it, I'm just going to have it right here all the time to remind people to, to don't listen to that stupid phrase. Like you can, you can listen to it for a while, but at some point you, you're not going to diamond hands all the way through. <sighs> That's all. It's like eating. At some point you got to stop. Well, for some people, I guess.
All right. All right, everybody, that's it for today. My internet's breaking up and no one likes that, you, especially me. So look, thanks for stopping by. Woo. Uh, we got a lot of things done. If you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Time sensitive, all that good stuff. But that's it for today. Oh, also, next week we'll have a Puerto Rico meetup. I'll let you know you know where it is. And we'll go from there. So thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. Have a good day. Do, 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 do.